There we are, skipping <laughs> off into the sunset. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, yes, good, good call. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to Barnside Chat. We are live from Campbellville, Ontario. Oh, behind us. Oh, you can see him from here? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We'll get a closer look a little later. He's outside. Is that just his butt, just like behind the yes, silo? Yes, I think that's him. <laughs> so funny. Or Jeannie. I can't tell from here. <laughs> Let's, Whoa, uh, look at all these people tuning give in. Give people a little time to tune in. We've got... I, I didn't Nicole know this could take a phone call while we were no. streaming. <laughs> I don't know if people heard that. Gail, I just want to say I saw your post on the announcement of Barnside that just said bring it in all yeah. caps and I was very excited. We got a lot to tell you today. <laughs> Hi, Thank Mary, you for that. Alyssa, Tracy, Claire. Hello from Thailand. Helen, <laughs> Joyce, Barbara. <laughs> and for anybody uh, joining us for the first time, my name is Kevin. I'm the facilities manager. And my name's Andrea. I'm the animal care manager. And also for anybody joining us for the first time, um, we just wanted to remind you all about our newsletter. Ooh, I'll take the live off. Uh, you can sign up for these, um, this newsletter to be up to date on all of the sanctuary news and events. I believe we send these out monthly. I did see in our last post about the newsletter um, that some people weren't getting them despite being signed up. So please, if that is a problem, please email um, info at happily ever Esther. Or you can private CA. message the page. Yes, or private message the page, yeah. Because we definitely want you to be getting those because they're very exciting. And I felt better. Even like like Tanya was was one of the ones. Tanya no. Bailey and like always donating, always in the chat. And I felt so bad when I saw that one come up. Um, also, for anybody that is new here, uh, just a reminder that you can sign up for a monthly donation. These are super helpful for the sanctuary because it's just this constant stream of donations that we know are coming in, and we know that we can rely on those donations can coming help from us you. Plan for projects, exactly. And animal yeah. care. Because sometimes we have vet bills that come out of nowhere, yeah. like Obama last week. Yes. Um, so today, we're going to be doing a weather report because, again, it is unseasonably warm. Not quite as warm sunny as sweaters. it was last week, but it is different for sure. For February 5th, it's different. Yes, for sure. Uh, we'll do a couple of resident updates, uh, and we have a facilities update, and then we have questions from the rainbow bag, which is sitting behind us, actually. <laughs> What do I have here? Oh, yeah. Of course, if you have questions for the rainbow bag, please leave them in the comments below. We love your questions. Absolutely. We'll super uh, fun. capture those for next week's Barnside chat to be answered. Should we just get right into it? Weather? Yeah, we'll Do go it. to the weather. All right. Gail's ready. Gail, Gail has been ready since the first announcement, I think. <laughs> so this week's weather is again unseasonably warm. We are looking at rain, above freezing temperatures, 10 degrees on Friday. That is absolutely wild i cannot believe that <laughs> like I, I don't even know what to say about that honestly uh, and also just as i said rain 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 um but look at all that rain i know um but speaking of the rain and the unseasonably warm temperatures i have a question there was a question later that i want to get to about uh just how the mud has been on the property and with everything being so warm and i have some good news and a nice long video for you to watch so look mm. forward to that in a little bit hi mom <laughs> we still have people still have people uh filtering in tuning in <laughs> thank you monica i appreciate that <laughs> all right uh andrea did you want to do go bomb i was right quick behind us about, well, do you want to go see him while yeah. we do this yeah, yeah let's we're go doing see him. It right there right there look i did it look at <laughs> look he's on my finger let's go see obama <laughs> everybody wants to see obama um i talked about him in my bear care corner video last week because he had some issues he actually ended up at the hospital last week which kevin i think has a video about i do yes this and is actually working i can't believe this look at him <laughs> outside with his friends he's doing amazing people are probably wondering how he's doing and what his update is and we're gonna go see him so we could talk about him while we're here they're out on pasture they might have to get taken off, though. They're eating the grass. They're not supposed to be eating the grass <laughs> because the grass is never showing on February 5th. It's usually snowy. Oh, we may have dropped out there for a second. I tried to get fancy, and I may have dropped you all. <laughs> Hello, are we still live? Yes. I, yeah. Resident update. Obama's behind us. So, so when did we bring him in last that. week? Last week it was on Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday? Yes, one yeah. of those days. Yeah. I think it was... Tuesday because Monday he wasn't looking really good, and then we decided. That's to bring right, him. Monday because last week on Barnes we talked to our vet yes. and he said bring him into the hospital because he wasn't eating and he loves eating. It's his favorite thing to do in the world. <laughs> I'm in the way of him. 
<gasps> he's looking at us. <laughs> he's doing so much better. So we came in the morning. He was looking um, not really like himself. He looked kind of, we, we say dumpy, like just kind of meh, didn't want to eat. Um, you could just tell something was off and we didn't really know what. We were suspecting dental issues because he has had dental issues throughout his uh, life, especially recently. Yeah. And older goats and sheep just tend to lose all of their teeth until they don't have any. So we kind of thought something was going on. We brought him into the vet. Um, they had done a few different things, but once they started to get in there and do some teeth floating, which I explained in my last Bear Care Corner video. Sorry, we need to relocate. We're a little low on connection. Oh. Sorry, Andrea. <laughs> Can people still hear us? They can still hear us. It's just a little the internet cut out. jumpy. We were a little too far away. Yeah. So once they got in there um, exploring his dental situation, they did some teeth floating, which kind of evens out the molars. The molars on sheep grow and grow and grow and grow because they grind against each other, the top and bottoms as they're chewing hay and grass, which you can imagine takes a lot of work and a lot of yeah. back and forth jaw muscle. So if any of those are kind of longer, they're kind of molar spikes they don't really do what they need to be doing and when they got in there they realized um two of his last bottom molars just came out um, <laughs> while they were working on them which said a lot Sheesh. um they weren't really healthy teeth so now he only has a few top molars left so we're increasing supplemental feeding mm -hmm. but as soon as that happened as soon as the bad teeth got out of his mouth he started eating right away so that told Aww. us all we needed to know and heal he's back with his herd which i hope you saw him if we had internet over oh, there yeah, i hope so uh, I do have Obama. a video about the uh, about the transport as well that goes over a couple of things Andrea addressed, but I'm glad that Ooh. Andrea is here to get into more detail because I didn't really know all those things. So that was nice. Um, so yeah, just uh, check this video out and we'll be back in a minute. Good morning, everybody. Kevin here. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, we are taking Obama to the vet. As you may have heard during our uh, Barnside chat on Monday, he's not exactly acting himself, which makes us concerned. Uh, we talked to our, uh, our vet remotely yesterday, uh, Nicole, our caregiving supervisor, did, uh, and he was concerned as well. So we are taking him in this morning uh, just to get him all checked out, get some blood work done, that sort of thing, make sure he is good, ha probably having his teeth checked because that's a common problem with, with sheep. Uh, if they're not eating, they, they have some, some pain in their teeth. Okay, we are all loaded up. Just have a uh, quick half an hour drive to OVC. I'm happy to report that we have arrived safely. This uh, warmer weather means that the roads are actually really safe. Uh, and I'm really happy to also say that uh, Jacqueline did the entire drive and I was just the follow car. It's really nice having some other staff people being able to uh, drive the trailer uh, when I'm not around. So Em and Jacqueline are both fully trained on the trailer and that is such a relief for everyone uh, on the staff. Okay, we are all offloaded. They are going to uh, do a couple of tests, check them out, uh, and they're going to let us know, and we will, of course, keep you posted. After just a few days at the hospital, uh, he went through a full physical examination. Uh, they did a teeth floating on him, and he seemed to be acting more normal after that, eating more normally, taking treats, which was really nice to see. So we brought him home. He is now back with his friends, and we are just going to observe and see how he does. He's back. He is back with his friends. So happy to see that. I loved how he went and saw every individual person to, to go and smell he them really all. picked up speed on Luann. <laughs> Luann is the head sheep. So sheep herds do have like a head um, sheep and she is the head. So I think that's why they had that first initial reaction, Aww. interaction. And then he went around and sniffed everybody because <laughs> he was very happy to see them again. He was gone. What, a day? Two days? Two days, yeah. Was two yeah, days yeah. at the hospital. So he was very happy to see his friend. Yeah. And now he's in with them right now outside. 
eating grass that they're not supposed to. I wanted to just share also a quick story. Uh, when we were dropping Obama off, one of the vets that was taking care of Brindle last week came up to uh, Jacqueline and I and said, uh, like, he is the sweetest boy. We gave him so many Cheerios. He would just go down for belly rubs. Like <laughs> she said, bring him back anytime. I said, That's well, we'd rather boy. not, of course, because <laughs> we want him to be healthy. But if he has to go back, they love him there. <laughs> yes. yes. Remember we loaded him once. This wasn't even recently. And I didn't know. They, I thought they were going to come home with us. Oh. <laughs> they were yeah. on the trailer and we're like, oh, okay, we're ready to go. And they, <laughs> they wanted to stay with them. So funny. Uh, so uh, for anybody that is joining us just now for the first time, this is our Barnside Chat. My name is Kevin, and I'm the Facilities Manager. My name's Andrea, and I'm Animal Care Manager. <laughs> and as we said in the beginning as well, uh, don't forget you can put questions in the comments for the rainbow bag that we will answer uh, either later today or, oh yeah, nice, or, uh, or next week. Always love having questions. I wanted to answer them now. Everyone's questions have been getting so good lately. Yeah, so people are really questions. observant and they remember mm -hmm. like, hey, what about this treatment or what about this resident from six months? Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. I didn't remember that. <laughs> um, so the last resident update we have today is about Tammy. Tammy, she's just um, a few stalls down. So that first stall is April. Oh, <laughs> She's not actually on Sora. She's just in there trying to get some treats out of uh, caregiver Christopher. And then a few stalls down after that. Tammy's on stall rest. She's going to be wrapping up stall rest in a few days. We still don't have a biopsy result on her memory lump, but I'll keep you posted on Bear Care Corner. So if you check out Bear Care Corner, you can see, um, we'll post the results there when we get them. I think Kevin's going to show. Are you there? Yes. There she is. Hi, Tammy. So she's getting a little bit bored on stall rest. We're hoping to get her out soon. The vet said she needed two weeks by herself to make sure she healed up properly from her incision, from the biopsy site. Um, it's looking amazing. The site is looking amazing. <laughs> There's Tim and Hercules looking for attention. <laughs> Timmy. Everyone's all riled oh, up. Oh, they're so cute together. Brothers, <laughs> Tim and Hercules, Tammy. Oh, Fiona. Fiona. <laughs> we can give a Fiona update. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go go check her out again. Back to Fiona. Fiona is on stall rest. She's on stall two, and yesterday she had a tail injury. So if you've been following us the last few weeks, been following Barnside or Bear Care Corner, um, we've had a few tail injuries recently. Um, so she had a tail injury yesterday, and she's just resting. On, you can see the bandage on her tail. There it is. Um, we're just making sure that she's healing up nicely before she returns the herd, which will be really soon. So we have two pigs on saw rest right now. And you can see she's antsy to get out back with her herd. Um, so we'll have her out, I think, later today or tomorrow. The tail's healing really, really well. And that's Fiona, not Tammy. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. That's a tour of the pigs. Uh, this main barn, if you've been here since the beginning or been here for a while, this was kind of a multi-purpose barn to start with, and now it is mostly a pig barn. You can see the goats and sheep uh, in the stall beside me. We brought them down for the winter, and we kind of have a few different herds going on. We kind of have the horned goats mm. together, <laughs> and we have everybody else down here. And a lot of the folks down here are on specialty feeding because they're elderly and having a hard time keeping their weight up so mostly a pig barn now the main barn mostly mostly <laughs> most of the time i think that brings us to the rainbow bag <gasps> yay and just a reminder don't forget you can sign up for our monthly newsletter uh, to get all of the most recent up-to-date events and news as soon as possible yes be the first to hear some things as they're announced you can tell all your friends <laughs> So what do I have for our first question? Oh, our first question is uh, back to the, the weather um, and the mud and the rubber mats uh, from Helen. I'm sure those mats are preventing the pigs from having push, hoof issues yes. from last winter. Yes, they're making a huge difference. The more they're exposed to muddy, wet areas, um, the more hoof issues that we see. Uh, it can yeah, soften yeah. up the sole. There could be bacteria that gets in there, even small little cuts or divots or if they step on a stone or a piece of kind of hard ground where that's frozen um, it can open up a small area which can create a bigger issue if the grounds are wet pigs should always be on dry areas and we do that by yeah. using these mats that we've carefully placed around the sanctuary <laughs> <laughs> and thank you helen for that question because i recorded a video to answer it 
um, just to give you a tour of what the rubber mat situation looks like. And even though right now it is warm and should be muddy, just take a look at what this rubber mat hallway has done for us. I'm so thrilled to share with you the state of the grounds here at the sanctuary uh, this winter. As you can see, these rubber mats that have gravel underneath are not muddy at all. Moving into the piglets feeding area, there's a tiny bit of mud on top, um, but it is like, it is a thin, thin, thin layer that is barely affecting anything. They're not standing in mud like they've been in the past. As we come around back of the piglet barn here, you can see the gravel that we put down. Um, a few years ago now. Uh, it has reduced a ton of the mud back here. Might as well pop in and see the piggies while we're here. Continuing on towards the main barn across this new pig hallway. Uh, we created this rubber, rubber mat hallway last year thanks to all of your generous donations. We had an excavator operator in. Uh, we dug out about 8 to 12 inches of just mud and dirt and we covered that with, uh, with gravel and then that is covered with rubber mats. So this area is super, super stable and super, super dry all the way across from uh, where we started over in the piglet area to the main barn. This makes it really, really easy uh, for us to move the piglets across to bring them in for weighing uh, or for health checks and put them up in the Zin Pro for hoof trimming, all that sort of thing. Just super, super safe. Even this area where the water is, it used to be very, very muddy and you can see a bit of that to the right there, um, but the rest of it is quite solid, which is really nice to see. These uh, unseasonably warm temperatures have been very concerning and it's been nice to have uh, these rubber mats down to make sure that everyone uh, is nice and dry. These stalls behind the barn, they're all either um, mats or soft stall or um, bricks that we laid down just to keep it really, really dry for anybody that's on stall rest. And finally, we come to the main herds feed area. Uh, this area is maybe the muddiest on the whole property, the area that I just ran through or walked through, um, but the feed area itself is quite nice. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that video. This is what we've been doing the entire time. <laughs> yeah, the whole bit when the video was going. We had some uh, Fig Newton party. If you've donated Fig Newton to our wish list recently, thank you. We received a lot because of, uh, oh, I already gave you one. <laughs> um, <laughs> National Fig Newton Day. Obama needs a little, I have to make a little piece for him because he can't eat the whole thing because he doesn't have any molars. Oh my goodness, so pushy. Oh gosh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Sylvia. A little burp Ooh. just happened over there. That was noisy. <laughs> We're very excited. Let's see what we have next for questions. We have one from Amy. Uh, I love uh, BJ and Escalade's friendship. Are there any real loners at the sanctuary? I'm thinking. Hmm. So they're bonded. There's a lot that are like, the. I think the flock back in Corno's Cottage, they're like a flock as a mm. unit. So there's not really any individuals back there. Maybe Ferdinand? Like turkeys are often kind of loners. Yeah, like male turkeys typically are. Generally. Like he hangs out with the uh, mm. other chickens, but he's not like cuddling with them at night necessarily. Mm. Cooper, but Holly comes over and visits him. <laughs> she flies over. She's not supposed to be there. Uh, Pouty and Denver have each other. I'm yeah. trying to think of pigs. They're really um, social. So there yeah, aren't any yeah. um, other than Rodney right now, but that's kind of different situation. Ducks together. Yeah. Cats, Enrique, he doesn't really get along with the other cats. Yeah, Claudia, I always say Claudia. Are, my are my answer, bonded, my answer is Claudia, <laughs> just because the cats don't get along. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and for anyone who doesn't know who um, BJ and Escalade are, they are our wonderful horse and donkey friend here. They were the first rescues of the sanctuary back in 2014, the end of 2014. They are beautiful. <laughs> Cute. What do I have here? 
I, they're always so little and I can't see them until we actually tap on them. Uh, from Corin, uh, you take excellent care of the residents' physical needs. We don't hear much about the mental step, mental health, mental health steps you take for them and how social they are with you. Is someone stealing the figures? <laughs> <laughs> I have to move this package. Sorry. <laughs> uh, do you enjoy, do they enjoy interacting with humans? Um, mm. It really depends on the person. We have to go through every single individual know, resident because again, if they're in a group, a herd, a flock, they have each other. They don't really need us. <laughs> um, Cooper, we do spend a little bit extra enrichment with because he's by himself. He's one of our rabbits. He's our only rabbit. So because he's by himself and he always was because I tried integrating and mm, it didn't work and integrating rabbits is almost impossible sometimes. Um, so we do spend a little bit extra time with him. Um, but yeah, socialization, they all have other herd mates or flock yeah. mates kind of related to the, the previous question but then keeping them enriched like you said with the goat structure oh yeah and M, M today is actually working on a new uh, goat structure that's going to be coming over that's going to be inside because when the temperatures are colder the goats don't love to go outside as much this week is a little different because of the weather but generally they do stay inside a lot uh, so we're going to be bringing them as actually some of you may have seen Catherine just standing on a spool in the corner yeah, it was actually the recent, <laughs> the recent caption this I think it was um so M is building some nice platforms for them to stand on and go under and just have a little bit more uh, interaction. Yeah, inside naturally, their goats like to climb. It doesn't even mm -hmm. have to be high. Yeah. It just can be like the spool, like a few feet off the ground. Just stand if you think so of funny. goats in the wild, you think of them in the mountain areas and rocky areas. So this is kind of natural for them to climb on things or be a little bit higher up, um, even if they're elderly and they're not jumping around or doing anything yeah. that interesting on them. Sometimes they'll just go up and lay on them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for that question. Uh, we have what one. I don't know. Where's that pig? Oh, it's it's actually Tammy punching the wall. Oh, so Tammy's Fiona. integration's coming up. <laughs> and as I mentioned in Bear Care Corner last week, so we had a successful integration last week with Brindle, Ted, and Braxton returning to the main herd. No issues. They went out at dinner time. No problem. I'm predicting, and I hope I'm wrong, predicting Tammy's going to be fighty because she has been in the past, in the and past. how she's yeah. acting right now. I don't. You probably can't hear because we have mics on, but she is like hitting the boards, mm. and there's a pig on the other side of the wall that she is uh, being Boy. sassy with. So, Could be an interesting integration. <laughs> we were so excited, too, because she came back like the next day after her, op her uh, operation, but because, the, because it was a little bit invasive, they wanted to have her on stall rest for a couple of weeks, so unfortunately we weren't able to put her back in with her friends. Ideally, she would go straight back. To avoid yeah. fighting during integration yeah, and avoid yes. stress of stall rest. Uh, stall rest can be a little bit stressful. Sorry, I just see ya. Oh, what's he doing? Mama's doing great. He's, he's, he gets a front he's row He's watching. Seat he's watching us. <laughs> His friend Luann's coming in. Yeah, get a close up on that kid. Oh, hi. Is he one of Fig Newton? Yeah. Okay. We're going to feed Obama a Fig Newton. A little piece. Oh, God, his, mouth. his lips just start going. <laughs> they love Fig Newtons. Oh, and, and you see Catherine a little piece around the corner. And a bigger piece. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, we have, I believe, one last question. Oh, wow. And um, anyone that's just joining us, we are doing the Magic Rainbow Bag. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and we will... see some for next time. Amazing. And we'll get those... Oh, tarps. Yes, absolutely. I'm just going to answer Yeah, this. answer that answer one. Some one right of them now. we can answer. We're allowed. We're, we can do it. We can do, do whatever we want. Always. <laughs> They're on the wish list. Or they were on the wish list. I'll see if there's more. But yeah, the we'll pigs sure. love playing with them. Especially when they're on stall rest and they're bored. <laughs> we have one last question from Carol. Oh, what is the status of the new hay storage building? So I, I kind of touched on um, not this project exactly, but an, uh, our, project, our projects in general. Um, we go through a very long process of really making sure that what we're buying is what we want. So we're not wasting all of your donation dollars because we really take that very, very seriously. Um, so we're still in the process of picking the correct building uh, and the correct site. So we have been making progress, but we haven't got any definitive plans just yet. Uh, there's a, there's just so many options out there, and we want to make sure that it is the correct thing for it's the sanctuary. It's a long-term thing. It's a very long-term thing. Yeah, exactly. So thank you so much for just that question, question, Carol. Wait, where? Oh, yes. So as some of you may have seen um, last week, we announced the rainbow bag. Thing. We announced the passing of Cinnamon, uh, one of our chickens. She passed last week and we had a lovely question from Sue Clavin. Do the chickens in the flock notice that Cinnamon is gone? That's a really interesting 
question because it really varies. I find with this group, it's hard to tell if they've noticed um, because they're just a cohesive little group. If she had been bonded with one other chicken in particular, then maybe we would notice that. Like when Jolly passed away, we really noticed a big difference with Nancy for the following weeks, especially mm. the week right after. But there was a few weeks where he just, you know, was he was sad. Um, you could tell he was going to their usual spots where they used to go he'd go on the walks that they used to go together so he was definitely Aww. mourning he definitely noticed but they were bonded as a pair i find with with cinnamon it's been a bit different because it was a bigger group so i don't know if they've noticed in the same mm. way mm. so thank you so much for that question sue that was very very caring of you really appreciate that um, as always, thank you all for joining us on Barnside Chat. This community just keeps on growing. We really love to have you all here. So if you know anybody that isn't watching the Barnside Chats, please let them, uh, you know, invite them over and, uh, to join this chat. It's really fun to see you all here. Uh, and as always, you can follow us on Facebook. Oh, that's not Facebook. That's YouTube. On YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, we have uh, videos going up on YouTube hopefully soon. I'm hoping to do some more active YouTube stuff pretty soon. Um, so please follow us on there. And as always, thank you for joining us, and we will see you next week. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>